All right, if you run a stagger screen like this, Toledo defends this horribly because they allow this player to curl. This player here doesn't stay attached like he's supposed to and show so that this player cannot curl, right? But you, they allow you to curl. So right here, look at this. This player, once he sets the screen, you got to dive to this open space here. Again, this player is fighting over the top, is chasing over the top. You dive to this open space right here. Now we create a three on two. If you're right here, three Oakland players, two Toledo players. And if you dive to this, you're not clogging anything up. This defender isn't going with you. This defender's going towards the ball. He's chasing around that stagger screen. So right here, if you dive to this open space here, we're either dropping it off to you and you have a bunch of forward momentum and you can power up over this player, or if you dr this, this defender here then steps up, look at this. Now this player just dives right here and we're dropping it to you um, for a dunk right there. So create this three on two. You're not clogging anything up because you're not bringing a defender with you. You're just bringing yourself and adding and giving us a numbers advantage right in the paint. But instead, that man, look at how he stands out here. So now you just allow Toledo to have a regular two-on-two, -two, body on a body. And so now, look, now this player doesn't have the option to drop it to you. Toledo's defense resets, and you turn it over. If you're a big, never post up air, watch this player here for Oakland right here. Look how he's posting up air. So now, because you're not getting into this player's jersey and sealing him off, where you can just catch it now right in the charge circle, and you're going up for an easy two. Look at this. He's posting up air. So look where he's catching it now. Now you're catching it a step outside the block. Again, <clears throat> never post up air. Right here, okay, he should be just getting right into his player's jersey, the Toledo defender's player's jersey right there, and then boom, you're catching this in the charge circle, and we're just throwing down to you, and you're just catching and going right up. But instead, he catches this ball way too far out of the paint. So now look, now it's just a regular one-on-one -on -one post up, and you're going to see he travels and turns it over. All right, defending in no man's land in the zone. That's how you get shredded. All right, watch this player for Oakland right here. Once this player drives into this area of the zone, you pass him off to another defender right here. So look at this. Where is this player going for Oakland? Right here. Okay, now this player is guarding the ball. This big is guarding this man right here. You've got to get back to your area in the zone. There's a guy right there. You're just in, there's a guy for Toledo there offensively. You're just guarding in no man's land. So look what happens now. Now they're just going to give it to your area in the zone, and it's going to be a little layup. Okay, so this man for Oakland right here is going to beat his man baseline right here. Okay, and he draws help. So when this player here steps up and helps, this player for Oakland, you have got to dive hard to this open space and make sure you seal this defender that's sinking down. Dive to this open space, seal off this defender right here. So again, you're on his inside hip, and this guard now can just drop it to you here, and you're just catching and going up uh, for a dunk. But look what happens. He allow, you allow, this player doesn't seal his man coming, that's, that he's, seal the man that he's occupying that's sinking down. So now look, now you allow the defender to get on your inside hip as opposed to this man sealing him off and being on the defender's inside hip so you can just go up for a dunk. So look what happens. Now you catch, and because you allow that defender to get on your inside hip, now you're not able to just easily go up for an easy two. And now Oakland's, you know, just back into regular one-on-one, -on -one, jack a contested three and get nothing. Oh, man. All right, Oakland's got the ball in the post right here, okay? There's the ball right there. So this player for Toledo is going to go double the post. This player for Oakland needs to be seeing all this. You're seeing ball, you're seeing man on offense. So right here, look at this. Once his man goes to double, boom, cut to this open space. We're dropping it to you, dunk. Why are you standing at the free throw line and not cutting? So look what happens. You, what, are, what is he doing? Cut, go. Oh, my God. But instead, now you allow them to double. He cuts way too late, and now you just jack a three and you get nothing. Okay, so I just have no idea what this player is doing defensively for Oakland right here. Look at this. This player here, this, his responsibility is the middle area of the zone. Okay, this player here is responsible for the paint. This player here has got to take this area of the zone. This player here, again, now we've got two people guarding the middle of the zone. So this player here whose responsibility <clears throat> is the top of the key right here, that area of the zone, that's where you've got to be. 
Why are you guarding the middle of the zone? That's someone else's responsibility. So when you go leave your responsibility to do someone else's responsibility, your responsibility isn't accounted for, so it's an open catch-and-shoot three. Okay, so Oakland looks like maybe trying to run an empty side ball screen. Toledo's icing this ball screen right here. So at their, look at this. They're icing this ball screen with no backside help. They're letting you hit the roll. you got to make this pocket pass. Look at this. Make this pass. Bang, it's catch and dunk or catch and draw backside help, and then we drop it here on a short roll for a dunk. But this guard, you have to make this pocket pass through. And look it, he doesn't make it, and now now you got to reset your offense. How is that not an easy two for Oakland? Okay, again, this player here for Oakland is going to drive and draw help. Look at this. Don't stand at the three-point line. You allow the defense to rotate out when that happens. Cut. Go. Look at this. Why are you not cutting? We should be dropping it to you. If you draw this, either it's an easy two or you draw this defender and now this lob right here is open for a dunk. But cut. When you stand at the three-point line, look. Now you allow this defender just rotate back uh, onto you there. And look, now you take a contested mid-range shot and you get nothing. Guys defending in no man's land in this zone. So you got a ball screen against the zone. This guard comes off it. So this player is going to switch assignments and step up and be ready to guard. So look at this. This player now takes that free throw line extended, that middle area, and this player steps up and takes the top of the zone right here. So if you switch assignments here, look at this. This player's got to get over here. This is your area of the zone right here. This big cannot have to step up here. This big has got to be taking this player in the paint so that this player can step up and take his area of the zone up here. You cannot force this big to have to step up because now you're going to leave this player here having to defend two different people. You've got to come over here. This is now your area of the zone. You switched assignments. This big goes here, and then this player can stay up there. But this player just stands at the foul line for I don't know what reason. So now look, now you force this big to have to step up. So now this player has to sink down, and because he has to sink down, he can't guard the man that's in his area of the zone. So they're just going to swing it there, and it's going to be a wide-open catch-and-shoot three. Okay, so again, you're running an empty side ball screen, Toledo's icing. So this guard just attacked downhill. Drag this big to keep him towards the ball. This keeps two defenders at the basketball. Look at this right here. Keep going. Drag this big. Give this player time to roll. Okay? Now, you, as long as you're attacking downhill, this big has to stay towards the ball. And it's going to open up this player's roll right here. So now, at the right time, pocket pass through. And you can either hit a little short jumper there. Or look what happens here. If you draw this backside defender, then we got an open catch-and-shoot three right here. If this is the backside defender that steps up, then this player can just cut right here, and we can either go down low to him, or if he occupies him, then we're still going right back to the corner for a catch-and-shoot three. But you've got to drag this big, okay, keep him towards the ball, and force one of these backside defenders here to have to step up. But you can see, you, you don't drag the big at all. You make that pass way too soon, and it's a turnover. Okay, so this is just a totally unnecessary help right here. All right, so this player is going to beat his man right here in the zone. Okay, so look at right here. This player here who's defending the middle of the zone does a nice job stepping over. This big does not need to help. Okay, look at this right here. This player has come over and guarded this area. Stay over here. Okay, You're, we don't need two people helping at the ball right here. Okay, but of course, if you are going to do that, you got to help the helper here. I mean, this player's got to sink down. You just got to hope that if they kick it here, you miss this open three. But again, th this is just an unnecessary help. Stay here. This player's coming over and helping and has it. But you can see uh, this player does uh, help for no reason. You don't help the helper, so it's just right to a dunk. All right, we got another stagger screen right here. This player for Oakland's got to come tighter off this stagger screen. You got to curl right here. Okay, because if now you catch it here and you can engage this defender here, now this player can just dive and be open for a dunk. But look at, see how he does not He goes out, you're giving up space. Right here, come tight off this stagger and go curl right into this right here and engage this big. Because now the man setting this screen, this you can just dive right to the basket and it should be a dunk. Or again, you draw this defender, then this player's open. But again, you want to curl coming off this to engage this defender. 
When you go out like this and don't curl, look at you just allow this player back into the play. You never engage this defender, and now again you just it's back to one on one. You can see Oakland's got to reset their offense then. Okay, so we're left with two guys guarding one again. All right, so the ball's going to go top of the key to the wing right here. Okay, so one of two things need to be happening. Either this player needs to stay and check this guy at the nail, then this big, look at this, we have two players accounting for one right here. One, two Oakland players. Either this player stays at the nail and defends this player for Toledo, so then this big needs to bump this player up, and now this is this person's area in the zone, okay? Or if this big wants to stay here, then you can't, why is this player flashing to the free throw line area? Stay out here, you've got a man in your area of the zone. This big's going to handle this player kind of in the middle of the zone at the nail right there. But instead, we have, again, we've got two people worried about one player for Toledo. So that means now that this player's left open. So now this player, because he went all the way in, has got to scramble to get out. He's going to get beat on a rip-and-go drive. That draws help then here because he gets beat. And so it leads to an open catch-and-shoot three. So again, instead of taking a contested three here off this dribble handoff, look, this Toledo defender goes over the top. Why can't you come off this and just get into the lane and engage this defender right here? Now this player's role is going to be open, right? Okay, and now we can either hit him, and we should get something easy there, okay? But if this defender then steps up and backside help, which I really don't think is going to be a problem, but if he does, bang, then we just have this player right here. Now is wide open, uh, on the weak side block, or if you occupy this defender, then this player's open. But let's let's exhibit if we, it looks like we can get something easy at the rim. Again, get into the lane, engage this defender, and it's going to open up this roll. But instead, you just jack a contested three, and you get zero. Okay, so I just don't know where this player's going here for Oakland. Okay, look at this guard up top right here. Ball gets swung to the wing right here. Okay, so where is he going? Stay up top. you got a man in, in your area of the zone. Okay, look, this player's handling this player uh, right here at the nail. Okay, this big in the paint can step up a little bit. Okay, if, the, if this player goes down in the, to this uh, player's man in the zone in the paint, you pass him off, and then this player just checks this player right at the foul line. Okay, but you 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 got a man in your area of the zone. Why are you leaving to go... To, to take another area of the zone. Look at, where's he going? You're, you're going, you're in no man's land. You, you have a man in your area of the zone, but you leave that area of the zone, so you give up an open catch and shoot three for no reason. Okay, so we just have people guarding nobody again in the zone. Okay, so right here, all right, what th this big, if they go swing, swing here, this big's got to be able to rotate out. Okay, so he can't really be responsible for this player right here. Either this player here is going to defend the nail so that this big here can start to cheat over here. So in case they go swing, swing, he's able to get out in plenty of time. Okay, so if this player is shading towards uh, this man in the middle of the zone, then this player's got to be up. you got to be up because if the ball gets rotated here, you got to be easily able to rotate up so you're not getting, you know, giving up an open catch and shoot three or getting beat on a rip and go drive. Okay. Or this player needs to slant over here so that this big can kind of cheat over there because if they go swing, swing, now this big's going to rotate here. This player then's going to take that man uh, in the middle of the zone. But if that's the case, then this player can't be in the middle. Then this player's defending nobody in the middle of the zone. He's got to be starting to cheat over here because if the ball gets swung here, you got to be easily able to rotate. But again, we got this player in the middle of the zone. We have this player defending nobody. So now when the ball gets swung here, look, now this player's got to scramble to get out to the three-point line. So what does that do? It allows for a rip-and-go drive, and now you end up uh, allowing that man to get to the rim, and it's a two-shot foul. Okay, so Oakland's going to run a little dribble handoff here, okay? So this player for Oakland, keep going in the lane here. Don't pull your dribble back. Look at this. Keep attacking right here, okay? Give this big time to roll. Because, as, again, as long as you're attacking downhill, this big has to stay towards the ball. And it's going to open up this player's roll. And what are you going to get here? Again, you keep attacking downhill. Now we're either able to make this pocket pass and you force this backside defender to step up. So now this player's open, so we just short roll right there. Okay? Or if this big rolls and this player here has to sink in, 
then this drag along the perimeter is open and we can skip pass right there for a catch and shoot three. But it all starts with you attacking downhill to keep this big at the basketball. This player is fighting over the top and is behind the play. But when you pull your dribble back, now you allow the defense to reset, and Oakland's just right back into one-on-one. -on -one. Again, you run this ball screen right here. Okay, this guard, you just got to continue to attack downhill this way. Give this player time to roll. As long as you're attacking downhill this way, you keep this big at the ball, and it's going to give this player time to roll. And again, at the right time, now you it's pocket pass, dunk, pocket pass, draw backside help, allowing this player to be open for a dunk, or pocket pass if the backside defender is right here, then it's pocket pass, short roll to a catch and shoot three right here. So you've got to just continue to attack downhill off this big's hip this way, and you keep this big at the ball, and it gives this player time to roll, and we're either getting an open dunk out of it on the roll, or you're forcing backside help and opening it up for someone else. But he brings his dribble back to the middle as opposed to just attacking off of the big's right hip right there to allow this big to roll. So now look, now you just jab. I don't know what that is, and it's a turnover. All right, if you're defending the free throw line extended area, you can't let this pass get made. Look at this right here. What's this player doing? He's coming in to take the middle of the zone, the foul line area. So you got to get on this player's inside hip so you don't allow this pass to get made. Look at this. You're just guarding nobody if you're not on this player's inside hip and allowing this player to get behind you like this. you got to get in on his inside hip and deny the middle of the zone. But look, he allows that player to get behind him without being on his inside hip. So now that pass gets made, and now you're in trouble. Now it's a layup. Okay, this is an awful gamble. You cannot gamble in the zone like this. Look at this. This player for Oakland, just get out. Why are you trying to get us? This is just an awful gamble. Again, stay disciplined in your zone. When this ball gets swung here, you're just rotating there. On the air time of that pass, you're just, you're just getting there. All right? Don't gamble. Look at this gamble right here. Terrible gamble. So now this player is able to get it, go into the lane, and eventually he's going to be able to hit a little open uh, jumper because of it. We got two people guarding one in the zone, so you obviously are going to be giving up something wide open. Look at this right here. Okay, this big is taking this player in the paint. Where is this player for Oakland going? Stay, you got a player in your area of the zone right here. Get out. But look at this. We got two people guarding one, so now no one's left in this part of the zone, so it's just kick out to a wide open three. Okay, so when Toledo ices this ball screen right here, look at this. This player here, this big, you've got to roll hard, okay? You're rolling hard. You want to make sure you're on this player's inside hip and you're sealing him off. So when this player comes downhill and he turns the corner, we're just dropping it off to you for an easy two. But look at how he hesitates and doesn't roll hard here. See how he hesitates? Look at this. He should be rolling hard, making sure he's on this player's inside hip, and we're dropping it off to you for an easy two. And you know what? If this player gets on your inside hip and you roll hard, okay, and you, we don't have that option to hit you, fine. Now the corner's going to be wide open. You're drawing that backside defender, and now we're going to the corner for a catch-and-shoot three. But because this player right here never rolls hard, okay, and, and tries to get a, a bucket at the rim right there, okay, now that backside defender never has to step up. And look, now Oakland's got to reset their offense. All right, if you're switching off assignments, look at this. So this player is going to be defending the free throw line extended area, the middle part of the zone. So it looks like this player wants to switch assignments. He wants to take the middle part of the zone, and he wants him to go take uh, the top of the zone right there. So if that's what you're doing, look at this. You've got to get under. You've got a player in your area of the zone. You've got to get underneath that man right there on his inside hip. Okay, you want to switch assignments, fine. But you've got to handle the assignment the way it's supposed to be run. Get in the middle of the zone, that free throw line extended area, and you're on that player's inside hip. When you, when you don't get on that player's inside hip and allow him to get on your inside hip, well, guess what's going to happen? You're gonna, it's going to lead to an easy layup. Okay, we have terrible spacing on this ball screen right here. Look at this. This ball screen's getting set right now. Why is this player so close to the ball screen? Because look at this. Toledo's going to be in drop coverage. They're going to try and fight over the top of this screen. So you've got to give this player space to get into the lane and drag this big, okay, opening up this player's role. 
But because this player here, look at how close he is to this ball screen. Because he's so close to this ball screen, you bring your defender right there. So look, now when this player should be able to attack downhill, there's no place to go because this player's man is right there because he's so close to this ball screen. So again, there's no space to go to attack downhill and create this little... You Look, at we should have a little two-on-one here between the ball handler, the big rolling against this big dropping. This player fighting over the top is behind the play, but there's no space to attack downhill because this player's right in the gaps defensively because this player didn't get... When he saw... When you see this ball screen happening, get wide. He's too close to the ball screen, so you clog up the ability for that guard to attack downhill, and now Oakland's got to reset their offense. Okay, so you run an empty side ball screen, Toledo's icing it. Look at this. This guard, just attack downhill. Drag this big. As long as you're attacking downhill, attacking off this big's hip, you're going to be keeping this big at the basketball. And it's going to open up this big's roll. Okay? And now at the right time, it's pocket pass. Okay? And either a little jump shot there, or you draw this backside defender, and then it's just a short roll. Right in, catch, draw backside help right into a dunk right there. Or if this backside defender steps up, you uh, then this and this player occupies that defender. Look, then it's just short roll to the corner for a catch and shoot three. But you've got to. This all starts with this guard dragging this big by attacking downhill and keeping him at the ball and allowing this big to roll. But he makes this pass before any backside help has to step up. So look, now Oakland's got to reset their offense, and they're going to eventually turn it over with a moving screen right there. All right, so we got a fake dribble handoff here. Look at this. Look at how Toledo's defending this. They're not going underneath. They're going to go over the top, which is not how you defend a dribble handoff. So right here, what's this player for Oakland doing? Go. Let's get you the ball right here, and bang, you're in the lane. Okay, now you can hit a little runner in the lane, or if this backside defender steps up, then this player just needs to cut right here, and bang, we hit you for a layup there. But look at this. Look at this separation. Toledo's not handling this dribble handoff or fake dribble handoff, whatever you want to call it. They're not defending it well at all. So go, why are you stopping? But instead, look at that. You allow that defender back in the play, so now Oakland's just going to go one-on-one, and you're going to eventually get uh, the shot swatted. All right, so we got issues against the zone right here. Here's mistake number one. Watch this player for Oakland right here. You got a man in your area of the zone right here. Don't go to the middle of the floor. Look at right here. This player for Oakland's defending the middle of the floor, okay? As soon as this ball gets kicked out here, you got to come up here to your area of the zone, okay? But because he starts to go in first as opposed to just getting out right away, look at this. Now he's got to scramble to get out there, so now he's going to get beat. So once he gets beat, what does that do? That forces help. Okay, so right here now, now you're trapping. So right here, this player, you got to deny one pass away. This player's denying one pass away. This player needs to get up because he's occupying these two Toledo players two passes away, and he's going to go if a skip pass is made um, or if a swing-swing happens. But again, this player, you're trapping right now. This player's got to get to one pass away, and you can't be late. But he's late, so it's right to a catch-and-shoot three for Toledo. All right, so this player here for Oakland with the ball is going to beat his man baseline right here. So when he beats his man baseline, look at this. This player for Oakland's got to be seeing this. You can see his man is getting ready to step up and help here. Okay, when his man goes to step up and help right here, bang. He's got to be diving to this open space right here. So we're just dropping this to you, and you know, you're going up for a dunk, or you might draw some contact and get to the foul line. But why are you still standing out here? Your man went to go help at the rim. Cut. Go. Give us the option to drop it to you for an easy two. But when you stand here, you allow your man to help, then rotate back. And now Oakland's just right back into one-on-one, -on -one, and they're going to jack a contested three and get nothing. Okay, so what's this big for Oakland doing here? I mean, right now, okay, go out and set this screen. What are you waiting for? Get up high, set this screen right now. Look at how he's waiting to set this screen. Go up, get set. This man's getting pressured, okay? Ha have the Make sure that this player can come tight off this screen so that this player for Toledo who's pressuring the ball actually gets hit with this screen. But look at how he's waiting to set the screen. What are you waiting for? Go up, set the screen, get set. But because he waits to set this screen, you allow this Toledo defender here 
to pressure the ball, and the way he's pressuring the ball, look at this. Now this player can't come tight off this ball screen, so now look how easy it is for this player for Toledo to fight over the top. Again, if he just will back it up just a little, if he just goes up and initiates this screen himself, go up, get set, come tight off the ball screen. Now this player for Toledo is pressuring the ball, okay, is going to get hit with this screen, come tight off this ball screen, and now it's not going to be as e- now it's not going to be easy for him to fight over the top of this screen like it is. Now if he comes off the screen, you're either walking into an open jumper, you create a two-on-one if Toledo's in drop coverage, which it looks like they might be, but when you just wait and wait to set that screen, now this Toledo player is just going to keep pressuring the ball. You're not really able to set a screen because he's easily able to fight over the topic because you don't come tight enough off the ball screen, and you end up causing a jump ball. If you run this zone, your rotations cannot be late. Once the ball gets swung to the wing here, okay, this player is going to step up and defend the wing. So right now this player has got to immediately sprint down so you can bump this player to the short corner area right here. Because you know this, this player had to, to leave this short corner area to defend the wing. So, But look what happens. You're late. Well, this player's rotation's late. Like right now, you got to go. This player's coming over and defending the paint area. But you know this short corner's wide open. you got to rotate. Boom, boom. But that initial rotation is late, so they kick it to the short corner. Wide open, catch and shoot three. Again, too much space between the ball handler and the screener here. Look at this right here. It's way too easy to fight over this ball screen when there's this much space between the screener and the ball handler. Right here, you got to come tighter off this ball screen. He should be basically rubbing shoulders with the screener. Because now look, now this player, it's going to be much more difficult to fight over the top of the screen. And now you can walk into an open jumper, okay, or you're getting in the lane drawing help and creating for someone else. But again, look at when you have this much space between the screener and the ball handler, it's way too easy to fight over the top of this screen. So now the, you, you don't get anything out of that screen, and Oakland's going to end up eventually getting nothing out of all of this. To sprint, but to get beneath the three-point line in transition. Look at this player for Oakland, how he's lollygagging back. Right now, he should just be sprinting, running hard, getting beneath the three-point line so you're in the gaps defensively. Look at how he's just kind of lollygagging back. So now he's behind the ball. He should be right here defensively if he's sprinting back to get beneath the three-point line so you make sure you're in the gaps defensively. But now because this player's lollygagging back and not beneath the three-point line, now this player's got a driving lane he should never have. So now he's able to get it and go right into the rim for a layup. Okay, what is happening here? I mean, it looks like Oakland is, I guess, setting a ball screen here. But So look at this. Toledo is defending this atrociously. Why are you not getting in the lane? Look at your man. He's all the way here. Get into the lane, okay? If you force this player to step up, then this player's cut's going to be wide open. But get into the lane. Only good things are going to happen. That I don't know what Toledo's doing defensively, but this player just stops. And now he lets his defender back in the play go. Force this player to step up. Now this player's wide open. But he just stops, allows his defender back in the play, for I don't know what reason, and now Oakland's just going to go one-on-one, and you get nothing out of it. Okay, so Oakland runs an empty side ball screen. Toledo is defending this just atrociously. I have no idea what ball screen defense is, but look at this. that you got to make this pass. This pass is, it can be made. Make it. Look at this. I don't know. Bounce pass. Pocket pass. Over the top. Throw it over the top. Get this pass there. What I don't I have no idea what ball screen defense this is by Toledo, but take advantage. Get this pass to the big. I mean, this is going to be a, an easy two. But if you draw this backside defender, then this player is just going to be able to be wide open right here as he dives uh, for a dunk. Or if if he dives here, this backside defender steps up and you occupy this defender here, then this player's open. But you got to just make this. All starts with making this pass. This player's wide open. Toledo's ball screen defense is, I don't know what it is there. But instead, you don't make this pass. You let their defense to reset. And now Oakland's got to reset their offense. Where's this player for Oakland going? Look at this. He's defending here uh, out on the wing right here. So right here again. Look, this big is got this man in the paint. Why? Where are you going? Well, again, 
Why do we have two people defending one Toledo player? So now look, now when the ball gets skipped here, because this player for absolutely no reason came all the way in, now he's going to have to scramble to get all the way out. So guess what? Another rip and go drive, and it's going to lead right to a dunk because of it. Okay, so Oakland runs a cross screen here that Toledo just doesn't defend at all. Okay, here's your cross screen. This player for Toledo's got to jam this player coming through. He doesn't jam him, though. So look at this. Go! Keep cutting! Come to this open space right there! And then, boom, we can just throw it down low to you for a dunk! You just ran a cross screen. Toledo didn't defend it how it's supposed to. Go! And then say something. You're wide open. Let's get it down low to you for an easy two. But they don't even look at that cross screen right there. Okay, and now they're just going back to one-on-one. -on -one. All right, you got to get over in time right here. Look at in transition right here, okay? You're setting up in your zone. This player's guarding the ball. So this player's got to get over here. You cannot you cannot be uh, allowing this player to just hand it right here into an open three. I mean, this player's got to get over. This player can't guard the ball and then have enough time to get out over there. So you've got to get over and take this player in this area of the zone. You, okay, the, you, the other areas of the zone are going to be accounted for by these defenders right, uh, these three defenders right there. But again, so right here, this player's guarding the ball in the zone. You got to get over there. But again, this guard is apparently expecting this player to defend the ball and then defend the man who the handoff's going to. That's that you're not going to have time for that. So it's just a wide open three. Hey, look, we finally did it. Toledo ices this ball screen. This guard drags this big. He attacks downhill, keeps this big at the ball. So look at this. You drag the big, pocket pass through, and guess what? It's a wide open layup. Nicely done. Again, where is this player here going in this zone right here? Look at this. So this big, this big right here is fine. He's taking this player right here. Why is this player going in? you got a shooter in your area of the zone. Stay out. Look at this. This big is taking this player right here. We don't need two people guarding this big. We need you in your area of the zone defending this shooter right here. But look. Look how he goes in first. Why? What are you doing? Now when the ball gets swung there, you're giving up a three. All right, so off this ball screen right here, look at this right here. This guard. Just look, keep attacking downhill off this big's hip. That's going to keep this big at the basketball, okay? And what's that going to do? It's going to open up this big's roll, okay? And this is either a pass right here for an easy layup. We've seen that happen, okay? Or if this backside defender steps up, then this cut's going to be wide open right there, okay? Or if that occupies another defender, then the corner's open for a catch-and-shoot three, and we just go short roll. But all of those interesting possibilities take place by this guard attacking downhill, dragging this big and keeping him towards the ball, and giving this big time to roll. But look, this, bit, this guard stops attacking downhill. He pulls his dribble back. So now this big can go from defending the ball to recovering back onto his man. And look, now we're just back into one-on-one, -on -one and you got to reset your offense. Okay, so first of all, like right now we got this ball screen getting set. Right here, this player should be getting wide. get Because as the closer you stand towards the strong side of the floor, you just bring a backside defender there. Get wide, okay? Or get down here wide. Just get away from this ball screen so your defender gets away from this ball screen, okay? That's number one. Number two is, is this guard has got to drag this big more, okay? Right here. You're dragging this big to keep him at the basketball, and it's going to give this player time to roll, okay? And you know what happens when that happens. Either right here we're dragging this big, now you give this player time to roll, and when you drag that big enough, then you pocket pass through. And this is either a layup, okay, or you can see where the backside, if the backside defender steps up here, it's just a short roll, right? To the big, and then to the corner for a catch-and-shoot three, or to the big, uh, this backside defender steps up to a cutter right there for a dunk. But you got to force backside help. And the only way you force backside help is by dragging this big and keeping him towards the ball. So you got to attack downhill. But you make this pass way too soon. Uh, the spacing isn't great because this player didn't get wide enough. Okay, and you end up at just a turnover. Okay, so this player at the top of the, this, this player is guarding the top of the zone right here. Okay? He's guarding the top of the zone. 
he's going to get beat, okay, and he passes it off to some, passes this player off to someone else. So right here, okay, you just got beat. Get back to the top of the zone. Where is he going? Why, where, why are you going towards the middle part of the floor? That's not your area of the zone. You're defending the top of the zone. When you get beat and you pass that player off to someone else, right back to your area of the zone. That area of the zone's vacated. You just left, okay, uh, to defend. You got beat, okay? You passed it off to someone else. You got to get back to the top of the zone. But for some reason, again, just look where this player's going towards the middle first. Why? That's not your area of the zone. So now look, now he's got to scramble to get back out here. So because he has to scramble, he's going to get beat, okay? And now that just forces other people to have to help, and it leads to a fight. Okay, so let's look at how this zone is laid out right here, okay? This player's guarding at the top of the zone, fine. This player's guarding the middle of the zone, fine. This player has this player in his area of the zone, good. This big should maybe cheat over just a little bit, because if that ball gets to the corner, you got to be able to get out there in time. And this player may be up the line a little bit, because if the ball gets swung there, you're just easily able to step up and guard. You're just guarding your area of the zone. But why is this player here, who's defending the ball just fine, passing the ball handler onto the man guarding the middle of the zone. So now the zone is all screwed up because now when the ball gets swung here, this player is going to scramble and have to scramble and get over there as opposed to if he's just defending the ball fine, which he is, just now if the ball gets swung there, this player just up the line a little bit and you're ready to guard. And then this big can rotate over here and this player here continues to guard uh, the middle part of the zone, and then this player is handling uh, his area of the zone just fine. But now you're asking this player for I don't know what reason to scramble all the way back out, and now again you're going to get beat on a rip and go drive, and it's going to lead to a two shot foul. All right, so when you're in the gaps defensively right here, okay, look at this right here. All you want to do by being in the gaps defensively is just stunt be able to get that dribble picked up, and recover back out. You're not gambling. You're not trying to get a steal. You're just stunting. Jab at it. Get that dribble. No driving lane. This player can't split through. Right here, bang. You did your job. You stunt. That dribble's getting picked up. So stunt, but now you got to get back out. Don't gamble, okay? But look what ends up happening. This player doesn't stunt and recover. He gambles. Now he's trying to get a steal, and look, now you get called for a foul. This is a pretty unnecessary trap right here. Ball gets thrown to the short corner here. This would be a lot easier if this okay, this big just steps up here. Don't go towards the ball. Just go take sink down into the middle area here so this pass can't get made. If you're trapping, then your backline defense has to be ready, okay? Like this player here, okay, has got to uh, sink in here. This player's got to come over there, and then this player for Oakland occupies the two Toledo players two passes away. If you're going to trap, your backline defense can't be leaving someone one pass away open because you're in trouble there. Then it's going to lead to a two-shot foul. Okay, so let's look at the spacing for this empty side ball screen right here. Empty side ball screen getting set. Why is this player coming towards where the ball screen is? You're just bringing a defender here. Look at this. As this ball screen's getting set, stay wide. Keep this defender as far away from the ball screen as possible. Because look at this. Look at this. This ball screen's getting set. This player's all the way over here. Toledo's in drop coverage. This player should have space to get into the lane, engage this big, and open up this player's role. This player getting hit with this screen is behind the play. But because this player comes over in the middle of this empty side ball screen, you've just brought this defender here. So look, now there's, no, there's not space to be able to get downhill and engage this big. This should be a two-on-one right here between the ball handler, the big rolling against this big dropping. But you've just brought this defender in the play because you've come over to where this ball screen's getting set. And now you clog up the space, and you see now Oakland's just going to have to reset their offense, and they're just going to pass it around and, you know, get nothing. Okay, so one, this defender right here is defending nobody, okay? You're, you're at the free throw line extended area. The problem is there's no one at the free throw line, okay? This big's doing a good job here. This player, you want to keep him in the corner right here. So get over here, okay? You, when, you, when the ball gets swung here, you're going to have to go there anyways. So 
make make it so you don't have to scramble to get out there. But look, because he goes to the middle of the floor to guard nobody, now he's got to scramble to get out, and now he's going to get beat with a rip-and-go drive. Now, this player right here is doing a good job of getting in the gaps defensively, but he's staying around too long. Look at this right here. Bang, you just stunted right there to get that dribble picked up. Now immediately get back. Don't stick around. Don't gamble. Don't double-team the ball. You got the dribble picked up. This player's back over the top and playing his man straight up one-on-one. -on -one. Get back over there. But look at this. He's going to stay, and now you're doubling the ball and gambling. So look, now instead of just being right back over here and this player's playing his man straight up one-on-one, -on -one, now you're doubling, gambling, and now look, now they're able to drop that off right there, and it's a layup. Okay, so, all right, so this player's guarding this area of the zone, okay? Fine. All right, here comes uh, Toledo. They're about to miss a three. Now, good job boxing out. Long rebound goes to Toledo. Fine. But look at this player right here. Okay, fine. Now Toledo's got the ball again. Get back to your space in the zone. And this player's in his space in the zone. The big's guarding the paint in his space in the zone. Well, you can't stand around here for no reason. Your Toledo got possession again. It was a long rebound, unlucky, whatever. Get back to your space in the zone. But look, he just stands in the paint for I don't know what reason, and it's just going to lead to an open three in his space in the zone. All right, this is just an unnecessary help right here. All right, look at this player right here. I mean, right here, like, this player's defending him just fine. Why is this big coming out to help right here? Stay in this paint area right here. This player's hit multiple threes. We cannot, this, if you come and help, we can't be forced to have to help the helper right here and leave this area open. Stay in the paint right here. Allow this player to stay out on this man right here. Don't help unnecessarily right here, okay? I, I mean, I guess, though, if you are, if you do need to help the helper, it'd be probably better if it was this man coming over to help the helper as opposed to this man. But there shouldn't be any need. There should be no help going on right here. I mean, right here, this player's fine one-on-one. -on -one. Why is this big coming over to help? You're, you're not helping. There's no need to help. Stay in the paint so this guard doesn't feel like he has to help the helper and he can stay out on the perimeter. But that big comes to help. You got to help the helper then, so you're giving up an open catch and shoot three. All right, I mean, you just simply have to make this pass quicker. Like, look at this right here. Right now, just rocket this pass over here, okay? Again, what's that going to do? It's going to force this defender to have to step up and backside help. We want this player then to just dive to this open space, and it's a short roll. It's either right from there to a dunk, or this cut then occupies this defender, so we go right to the corner for a catch-and-shoot three. But this pass is taking too long to get here. I mean, he's making like a wraparound bounce pass, and now you let that defender uh, get back into the play without any backside help having to step up, and you get nothing. Okay, so when a ball screen is set in the zone like this, okay, this player's just got to step up and be ready to guard. Okay, this big, you're handling the paint, so you got to be aware of a you know if this player cuts into this place space in the zone you got to be ready for that but right here look at what is this player doing get up and be ready to guard uh once this ball screen is set this big is gonna has got to be ready to handle this area right here if this player cuts right here he's got to take him but when a ball screen set in the zone this player just shifts over but look what the player doesn't shift over, and this big, I don't know what he's doing, so now you let a player go back door, and it's a layup. Okay, so you run a ball screen right here, and you get a good switch. This is a very advantageous switch that we've got to take advantage of. So right here, right now, this player, just go down low, set up, and we're going to hammer this mismatch down low. But look what happens here. First of all, this player, for some reason, is hanging out at the perimeter initially, okay? But second of all, like right here, why we, this player should not be posting up right here. S get wide. Let we, let's, uh, let's ISO this. We have a mismatch here. Let's ISO that. We haven't gotten a switch here. We've gotten a switch here. Guard big. So let's take advantage of this mismatch down low. But look at this. We got two people trying to post up in the same area. So now we lose that advantage with a kick ball and you get you don't take advantage. 